Now that our basic launching mechanism is assembled, we need to think about a mechanism to push the launch plunger back and extend the springs. A cam is a simple mechanism to repeatedly cycle the firing mechanism from the firing position to the launch position. As the cam rotates, the pin is pushed back by the cam profile, which is progressively getting larger in diameter. Once the springs are extended, the cam rotates to the position where it abruptly changes diameter, which completely releases the launch plunger and shoots the ball out of the barrel. So now it's time to design the cam, and we're going to do that using the golden ratio found throughout nature. The goal is to generate a curve that increases on diameter to gradually and consistently drive that pin back as the cam rotates. So let's go ahead and start a new metric part file. And here we're just going to begin to create the sketch that we're going to use to generate our cam profile. We're going to lock onto the front plane. We're going to start at the origin and draw a 25 millimeter long line. Create a right angle, 90 degrees, another 25 millimeters, and then we'll connect those two endpoints. The next line that we need to create again is a 25 millimeter long line connected to the end and perpendicular to the last line that we created. You can see that we get the perpendicular indicator and that the line turns yellow when it is perpendicular. And then we just simply click to connect the endpoints. And we'll just keep repeating this process, creating 90 degree angles at the corners, at the outside corners, and connecting them back to the center point. We'll repeat this process over and over. This is what we call the golden ratio. So we'll go ahead and we'll skip ahead. So here you can see we created enough triangles to cover a full 360 degrees. What we'll do now is use those radiating lines to create a curve that's going to be our profile for our cam. We're also going to create a horizontal line that's 5 millimeters off of the origin of our cam. So back in Solid Edge we'll run the curve command. We'll start at the first horizontal line that we use to create our first triangle and we'll simply connect the endpoints of all of the radiating lines. Notice the curve that's being generated in red based on those endpoints. This is going to create a nice smooth transition using our golden ratio. Now we've covered our full 360 degrees. We'll just create a horizontal line that again is going to be offset from the origin or the center point of the cam uh, by 5 millimeters. So we'll just create a smart dimension between the horizontal line and the end point in the middle and change that dimension to 5. And then it's just a matter of trimming the curve and that horizontal line together. Just trim by corner, select the curve and the end point of the line, and there we have our profile. So our next step then is to take that profile and generate our 3D part. <laughs>